First thing we'll do is remove the dipstick that will help our crankcase breathe properly when draining the engine oil. Using a 17 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain bolt and check the crust washer for its condition. If it's damaged, you'll want to replace it or else you'll have leaks. And once we have it in, we'll go ahead and torque this to 18 foot-pounds. Using an 8 millimeter socket, we'll remove the three bolts holding the oil filter cap in place. That'll give us access to the oil filter. Clean out all the old, make sure the spring's in good shape, and we'll reinstall the oil filter with the grommet facing out. This is important because if you don't, the engine won't be able to circulate oil properly and could blow up your engine. Then we'll retorque the three 8mm bolts down. Just good and snug is all you need. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Honda states that this engine holds 2.4 quarts of 10W40 Gen 4 engine oil. Now we'll reinstall our dipstick. Start the engine up, let it idle for just a few moments. This is going to circulate the engine oil through the system. Once it's idle for a few moments, we'll go ahead and shut it down and let it sit for a few more moments. That's going to help us read an accurate oil level. Now we'll remove the dipstick, wipe off the excess oil, and just simply set the dipstick on the crankcase and lift it back out. And our engine oil level looks perfect, so let's hit the trails.